Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. I had to make a quick run to Trader Joe's and I spent $109 and some change. I didn't pick up a lot of stuff, but let me get started with the produce. So I grabbed some baby broccoli or broccolini. There is a pasta dish that I really enjoy making. I haven't made it in a while, so I plan on using um, the broccoli for that. And then I also grabbed some bok choy. Bok choy is not something that I um, buy or eat very often, but there is an Asian soup that I wanna make um, with wonton, so I thought bok choy would be really good in that. Grab some baby spinach and kale. The kale is for this soup, um, like a Zupa Toscana soup that I tried on our What's For Dinner, probably, I guess it's been a couple of weeks ago, and Howard and I really liked it a lot, so I wanna make it again. Grab some cabbage just because I was craving cabbage and wanted some. Also grab some garlic. I have not bought, I don't think I've bought this garlic before, but it comes in individual little bags of um, garlic cloves. And so I thought that would be pretty cool to try. And then I grabbed some fried onion pieces. I really like their fried onions. They are seasonal. They come around in the fall and I just used up the last little tub that I had. Um, on a casserole, so I needed some more. Whoops, Shamika over at Amazon World of Seven, she recently picked this up on her um, Trader Joe's haul. It's a vanilla buttercream frosting mix. It is a mix that you have to add your own, where is it? You have to add your own butter, there it is, your own butter and milk, and I love baking and making cakes and things like that, and I just wanted to give it a try. Just ignore those toys and stuff over there on the floor. And then also, let me flip this over, got some spicy jollof seasoned rice mix. I saw this in their Fearless Flyer and I really wanted to give it a try. We love rice and it comes with dried tomatoes, onions, and garlic. Here are the ingredients a little bit closer in case you're interested, but I'm excited to give this a try. Um, clarified butter. I just like to have this. I keep it on my cabinet. I use it to fry eggs. It has a really high um, heat point, so you can fry it at a really high, you know, at a high heat and it doesn't burn. So, um, it's glad to get some of this. I also grabbed some of this um, Crunch Collection. I used to buy this all the time. I love it. I just love to saute it and have it um, as a side for our dinners. And it has kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage in there. Grab some broccoli just to have it for sides. We eat a lot of broccoli around here. And then I grab some chives because I'm thinking of making deviled eggs and I wanted some. Grab some pancetta for a recipe that I wanna try. It's a pasta recipe. And then I grabbed some peanut butter cups for another recipe I plan to try. And this crispy rice, um, milk chocolate bars, that was just an impulse buy. You get three little bars in there, it was at the checkout stand. I don't think I've ever tried it. It was $1.79 for these three little bars. Back over here, I grabbed my husband some Chinese pork buns. He really likes these a lot. I have bought these for him before and he really enjoys them. And I also grabbed a couple of boxes of soup dumplings. I got three chicken and um, I got two pork. And if you've not tried these before, they are very good. You just pop them in the microwave and they are perfect. I love these things. Also grabbed some mini croissants. I tried these for the first time. I guess it's been a couple of months ago. They are really good and that is why I got two boxes. You can bake these directly from the freezer, which is what I did the very first time and they were good. The second time I let them thaw out for maybe an hour or so and they were still good. But the last time that I made them, I let them completely thaw out and proof and they were delicious. They say mini, but they're actually a pretty good size, especially if you let them thaw out and proof. I would definitely recommend letting these thaw out before you make them because they are phenomenal. I grabbed a tart and you, let me see, this one is mushroom and cheeses. The one that I typically buy is the one with ham. They were completely out, so I decided to give this one a try again. It's been a long time since I bought the mushroom, but we both like mushrooms, so it should be fine. Wanted to try some of their new seasoning blends, so I got the Green Goddess 
And let me show you what's in the Green Goddess. Chives, spinach powder, onion, etc. So this is something that I really think that I would like a lot. And then they also have a cheesy blend and you can use it on pastas, vegetable, popcorn. And here's what's in there. And then I got some hot cocoa mix. One of the employees there said it is really good and I love hot cocoa and I love tea, but I'm not a coffee drinker. So I was excited to see this. Grab some of their chicken spring egg rolls. We like these, these are okay. Um, the last time I had them, I just thought eh, but I wanted to give them a try again just to make sure um, to see how I kind of felt about them. Um, going right over here, I grabbed this salted caramel flavored hot cocoa. This is a new one for me and I'm excited to try it. I love caramel, so hope that's good. And then I bought two packages of their chicken wings. I have not bought their chicken wings in a very long time. Wanted to give them a try again and I plan on throwing these in my air fryer. And then I grabbed some super sweet uh, cut white corn. Very good. This corn is as sweet as sugar. All I do is add a little bit of butter and salt and pepper and it's perfect. It's crunchy and sweet. And I am not a big corn person. I mean, I'll eat it, but this is probably the best corn that I've ever tried. And then I also grabbed some bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi. So I did try these probably last year is when I tried. Um, the kimchi and I, the fried rice, excuse me. And I thought it was okay. I do think it needs to be doctored up just a little bit. So I plan on adding some more beef and maybe some veggies or something with it, I'm not sure. But I wanted to give it a try again. So this is everything that I picked up in the Trader Joe's haul. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.